brain function is a big deal. Heart attack, we're looking at two to four times more heart attacks. And this is cancer, uh, particularly above 86. Best, 70 to 85 for your fasting blood sugar. Less than 100 is non-diabetic. So this is what a, uh, a chart looks like. This is a, a glucose tolerance test. And you see the spiking here up to 200. Above 180 is diabetes. So that's kind of spiking. That's classic. That's another spiking. All these people will have all these kinds of effects I'm having after takes maybe 10 to 15 years to start developing these things in the cycle. And uh, so your blood sugar being high is a problem. Even if it's 105, 110, you're going to have increased heart disease and cancer. That's the main point um, that I'm making. So be aware that we want to keep our fasting blood sugar optimum 70 to 85, but at least less than 100. That's the, the big message there. Uh, above 110, the beta cells die. So if you're above 110 for a few hours, you're going to be losing beta cells. Now, in the big picture, it's the number one cause of blindness, number one cause of kidney failure, and of amputations. Now, diet and exercise do work. I mentioned exercise will decrease about 58% onset of diabetes. Uh, here's just people were just told they didn't follow it, but they got a 50% drop. Don't ask me why that is. Power suggestion, maybe. But with the pre-diabetes, they, they were given lifestyle choices. Uh, if they didn't follow it, no change. If they heard it, and considered a little bit, they got 50, 50 60 percent. And if they follow it fully, 100 percent protection. Okay, so that's the key thing: 100 percent drop in risk. Uh, so it's interesting how it works. So the whole thing is this plant-based diet to do it. Now I'm going to kind of review it. As T. Cole and Camel said, uh, radically changing our diets may be impractical, but actually it's worth it. In my two books that cover it, that's what's covered here. The general diet is pretty straightforward. All your leafy greens, all your vegetables, all your nuts and seeds that you want, non-sweet fruits, which we call tomatoes and avocados and, and cucumbers, bell peppers. Uh, a lot of people are against oils, fats, but actually it's fine for diabetics. Plus, if you're taking away the carbohydrates, which is what we do, you've you got to have something in there. Fermented foods are okay as well. The only sweeteners I use are stevia and xylitol. Okay? As you are healed for a longer time, you could have a, a few fruits back in the citrus, uh, or some in the berries and cherries, that kind of thing. Your superfoods like pomegranate and bee pollen you can add. I don't really recommend grains, but you can add grains in once you're pretty stable, your blood sugar is stably less than 100. Here's how it looks. People come in, this person is close to almost uh, 400, and almost immediately the blood sugars go to normal on the right program. Here's another type 1 diabetic running about 400 blood sugars. He goes to normal. He's still, years, 10 years later, he's still in the, in the mid-80s. Okay, He started taking fish for a little bit, his blood sugar goes up, he wrote me, so what's the problem? I'm only just taking fish. I said, stop the fish and see what happens. Boom, it goes back down to normal. It's pretty exciting. It doesn't matter what age. I have people, lady, 92 years old, came in in a wheelchair, 13 different medications, obviously type 2 diabetes. In three weeks, she's out of the wheelchair, her arthritis is gone. She's off her high blood pressure medication and off her diabetes medications. She's walking around. She's healed, 92 years old. Doesn't matter. So we just see how quickly people respond and go to normal. Uh, we drop a lot of the tests out there, you know, the blood sugar's around 160 and they get some improvement. We're looking at 247 and we're getting dramatic improvement here. This is the inflammation that I mentioned, C-reactive protein. You can see it's one-third after just three weeks on the live food vegan diet. That's dramatic. 
And we're back to where I was. I started with blood sugars around 247, other people about 160, 65. We get this dramatic improvement. Again, 61% totally healed who are non-insulin dependent, 100% off medications, and 86.4% uh, was insulin dependent in three weeks with 24% cured. So the, re the results are there. So I'm going to summarize it now for you. And first, avoid all carbohydrates except leafy greens and your vegetables. And the healing phase, 25 to 35% carbohydrate. This is the, uh, you know, 25 to 45% raw plant. Now, if I'm going to cut down carbohydrates, I have to add something. That's why we, I came into the whole fat issue. So, what's the problem with fat? I found there wasn't. 10 to 20% raw protein, but 10 to 15 is the average. Uh, the power of live foods to heal is remarkable. What's the difference between 40% decrease in, me in medication and 97% off medication, 100% healed? you know, in, in three weeks. And live food specifically decreases what I call the para-inflammation, key concept, okay? We, we gotta deal with that. Uh, weight loss happens naturally, we don't even think about it. Natural drop of cholesterol eating this way, you don't think about it. Overall, a vegan diet is going to give you uh, 35 to 50% less r risk of diabetes. All organic foods, because pesticides, herbicides, heavy metals are a problem, particularly mercury. Okay, so we gotta, gotta go organic. It's actually a big deal. The other thing about organic is it's much higher in antioxidants. When they looked at it, organic food has more nutrients, more phytonutrients, but specifically, it's about 68% higher in antioxidants. So just overview. Uh, moderate exercise, as I mentioned, adequate sleep, Meditation, which we, we had another lecture about how to organize your diet according to your constitution. Just it's overall a healthy way to live. This is not a diet for diabetes, it's a diet for being healthy. Kind of make that distinction, it's a distinction. And loving yourself enough to want to heal yourself. You've got to love yourself enough to want to heal yourself. Pretty important component. Society's always taken by surprise by a new, any new example of common sense. Because I'm not telling you anything big. I'm just saying, going back to the natural ways, no big deal. I'm doing a lot of work with uh, personal holistic healing. People, some of you may have saw the flyers. Because I'm also extremely interested in healing the broken brain. And I, I have to, right now, I'm in the personal part of that whole work. Although around the world, I'm working with the diabetes program. So those are kind of a little bit what I'm doing there. And you get the supplements that we have are specifically organized around what I'm talking about. There we are. So it's really good to share with you these wonderful ways to be healthy. <laughs> Blessings to everybody. I appreciate the audience because it's a mutual appreciation. Because you didn't get here by accident. You got here because you had some understanding. So I honor you for your understanding. And in a few minutes, we're going to do a little panel, but I'm going to be over here signing a little bit, books or whatever, okay? So blessings to everyone. Have a great rest of your day.